Most men do not understand bisexual women, and most men do not understand lesbians. And in this video, I'm gonna to describe to you exactly the different categories of bisexual women and lesbians so that you are more clear on your sexual objectives. The reason I bring this up is a lot of guys have all kinds of fantasies about converting a lesbian or hooking up with a lesbian or stealing away a, a woman from a lesbian relationship or various things like that. Plus guys are very confused when a woman is bisexual or when she identifies as bisexual or identifies as a lesbian or wants to hook up with other women and they think things like, oh my God, is she gay? Is she bi? What's the scenario? Men have very little understanding about this and it's not surprising because our brains are wired very differently for sexual desire than women are. Men are very simple. Men are pretty much, pretty much gay or straight. It's pretty black and white for guys, right? I actually believe there is really technically, this is my opinion, I'm not a psychologist, I could be wrong, but my opinion based on a lot of anecdotal data analysis is that there really is no such thing as a bisexual man. If you enjoy having sex with men or getting sexual with other men, you're gay. You're just a very relaxed gay guy who will swing the other way occasionally. I happen to think that men are either gay or straight across the board, and if you have truly bisexual men, they're very, very rare. By the way, side note, I'm a libertarian. I am not a conservative. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a traditional conservative. If you're gay, great, be gay. I do not care at all. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't give a shit. You do whatever you want with consenting adults. It's your business. Go with God, have fun. Now, women are very different than men. Women are not black and white. Women are very gray and they're a scale. It's a very nuanced scale. It's not just gay or straight or even gay, straight or bi. That's not how women work. And right now I will give you a description of the entire lesbian to straight and or bisexual scale. I don't have a good name for this. I'll just call it that for the time being. So we'll start way over here on the lesbian side. So starting on the far end of the lesbian side of the scale, you have the, what they call in the lesbian world, a gold star lesbian. This is a lesbian who has never had sex with a man, never wants to have sex with a man. Many of these lesbians will joke about how they have literally never seen a man naked in real life, maybe in movies and stuff, but never in real life. They have never had any desire to be with a man, and they never will. They are hardcore lesbians, for real, to the core. There is no chance in hell for you as a man to have sex with any of these women. They have no interest. I don't care if you look like Brad Pitt in his prime, they will not go there. They have no interest. To them, it's gross. And, you know, think of it this way. If you're a straight guy, you probably are, imagine what would a gay guy have to do to sleep with you? Is there anything a gay guy could do to convince him to sleep with you? And you'd be like, no, exactly. That's how real true lesbians are. They're not gonna have sex with any man. It doesn't matter if you pay them. It doesn't matter if you get them drunk. It doesn't matter if you are really good looking. It doesn't matter. That's just not what they want. That's not how they're wired. Now, one notch over from the true gold star lesbian is what I will call the converted lesbian. These are lesbians and they are hardcore real lesbians who when they were younger did have sex with a guy or two. Not very many, usually just a few men. And they did that when they were in high school because they felt pressured to do so. They wanted to fit in. They didn't want to feel weird. They didn't want their parents to know. They wanted all their friends to think they were straight. So they went ahead and hooked up with a few men, but they were really hiding it from themselves that they were actually lesbians. And so later in life, 20s, 30s, sometimes even, God forbid, 40s, they kind of say, okay, I, I know who I am now. I'm not gonna do this anymore. And they convert over to true blue lesbianism. And from that point forward, they are just like gold stars. They are pure lesbians. They only wanna have sex with women. They will never have sex with a guy ever again because they don't want to. And when they did back in those days, they didn't really enjoy it. I've talked to a lot of people in all these categories. They didn't really like sex with men back then. They just did it because that's what they thought they had to do. But they were still lesbians. They just weren't the hardcore gold star lesbians, but they are still every bit as much as a lesbian mentally. The next category over, and this is kind of in the middle now, this is where we get to the bisexual range of women, is what I call the bullshit lesbian. Let me explain this. I have met many women in this category, and here's how this generally works. The bullshit lesbian is not a lesbian at all. 
She is bi. She likes having sex with women. She likes having sex with men, usually about equally. She loves having sex with guys. She loves having sex with women. However, she goes through a temporary phase where she identifies as a lesbian. And so what this woman will do is they'll get a lesbian girlfriend. She may even move in with the lesbian girlfriend. And at that point forward, she will self-identify as a lesbian, not bi, lesbian. And she will be 100% lesbian. She'll tell all of her friends she's a lesbian. She'll tell her whole family she's a lesbian. She will go down to the gay marches and hold up the signs next to her lesbian girlfriend about LBGTQ rights and all that stuff. She's not a lesbian. She's a bisexual woman who's going through a lesbian phase. And what always happens with these women eventually, often it takes several years, they will break up from the lesbian girlfriend and go right back to dating men again. So was she a lesbian? No, she was a bullshit lesbian. Recently, Anne Heche, actress Anne Heche, died in a horrible car accident. Horrible story. I feel terrible. Uh, she seems like a nice person, although she was always a little weird. She was a celebrity example of a bullshit lesbian. She was dating Ellen back in the 90s, and she identified as a lesbian, lesbian, lesbian. But what happened? She broke up with Ellen and went right back to dating men again. And I believe she married a guy and had a kid. Right, she was never a lesbian, she was bisexual, who was temporarily identifying herself as a lesbian. In the modern era with a lot of younger women, Gen Z women and some millennial women, you'll see a lot of these bisexual women, these bullshit lesbians who call themselves lesbians, but they're really not. They're just hardcore bisexual women going through a lesbian phase. So it is possible to hook up with these women, but not while they're in the middle of the relationship with their current girlfriend. You need to let them go, Keep them handy, keep their contact information around, let them go be lesbians, let them have their lesbian experience, and when they break up from the girlfriend, then you can pounce, and then she'll probably have sex with you because it's been a long time since she's had a man and she's ready to rock with one. That's how these women work. By the way, if you like this content, I do at least three videos a week here at the Alpha Male 2.0 channel where I talk about dating multiple women at the same time, location-dependent income, long-term masculine freedom. If this is of interest to you, you should subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, put a like on this video, and leave a comment on this video, and that way you'll be sure to get this content in the future. The next category over would be what I call fully bisexual women. They're kind of in the middle of the zone here. Fully bisexual women. These women are bisexual, and they are 100% bisexual, but they kind of prefer women. So given the choice, they prefer having sex with a woman and or dating a woman. They are not lesbians and they are not bullshit lesbians. They don't identify as lesbians. Usually you cannot tell by talking to them or looking at them that they are heavily bisexual, or that they prefer women. They look just like any other woman, whereas like gold star lesbians and many converted lesbians tend to have a much more boyish, butch look to them because that's just how they are. So the fully bisexual woman is bisexual. She will absolutely hook up with men. She will absolutely hook up with women. But given the option, she will always kind of gravitate towards women. This is also relatively common with lots of bisexual. Not all, but it's relatively common. Now, some of these women will talk about how when they're with a woman for a long time or just women for a long time, they will crave a dick and they gotta go get laid by a guy. And so what these women will often do is they'll go out, fuck a guy three or four times, and then go right back to their women. Uh, I've had a lot of conversations with women like this. So they, again, they prefer women, but every once in a while they need a cock. And so they are certainly able to have sex with you if you're a man. Just don't expect any consistency from these women because again, they do prefer women. But they are bisexual and they like guys. There you go. The next category over, and now we're getting into the straight end of the spectrum, is what I would call partially bisexual women. They are bisexual technically, however, they prefer guys. So in other words, they are the mirror opposite from the fully bisexual woman. She prefers girls, but she likes having sex with guys. She prefers guys, but she does like having sex with girls. So these women will generally have sex with men, they will generally date men, but they will happily and gleefully jump into bed with a woman they find attractive, and they will do all the things with the women. They won't be these women where, well, she can go down on me, but I don't wanna go down on her because that's gross. No, they'll do everything because they are bisexual. They like girls. They are attracted to women, but they prefer men. These women, these partially bisexual women, will never date a woman. They would never have a girlfriend who is a woman. Now, some of them, to be politically correct with today's left-wing culture, will say, oh, yes, I'd date a girl, but they never will. 
They really don't. And, and some of them who are honest will say, no, I could never really have a, a female girlfriend. I couldn't do that. But I can certainly hook up with girls. I want to have sex with girls. Hell to the S. I have dated many women in this category, as well as many women in the fully bisexual category. And these women are a joy because they can bring you other women. You can do threesomes. You can do all kinds of fun adventures with women. These are probably my favorite category of all these women. Although I like all these women. I've had many good lesbian friends over the years. So I, I like all these women. But in terms of dating and sex, the partially bisexual, the women who are hardcore bisexual but prefer men, those are probably my favorite, and they'll probably be your favorite too. The next category, and it's almost to the edge of the scale now, is what I will call barely bisexual women. These are women who are pretty much straight. They will only date men. They will only have sex with men. They will never talk about having sex with women. They will never talk about hooking up with women. They may never have had sex with a woman in their entire lives, even if they're in their 30s or 40s. However, there do exist some women in this woman's radar that they would have sex with. So these women are barely bisexual in that they will go for a woman, but only if she is really, really, really pretty to her. So these barely bisexual women are extremely picky about the women they will do anything with. That's why they can go decades without ever having sex with a woman because no woman measures up. But if that type of woman comes along, she'll go there and she'll like it. She'll be nervous and often the other woman will have to take charge because she won't know what to do. These are also women, for example, who will not get sexual with a woman unless they get drunk, then they'll make out with their best friend, but that's all they'll do. That's another example of the barely bisexual woman. These women are pretty rare, to be honest. What's interesting is my wife, Pink Firefly, is in that category as the barely bisexual. So that's what differentiates them from all the other bisexual women is they're not just going to go out and hook up with hot girls. They are very, very, very specific and very, very picky about the type of woman they will do something with. But if and when that woman comes along, she'll go there. She'll be timid about it. She'll be nervous. But she will go there and she will like it. And then she'll be right back to being straight only with men. That brings us to our final category, the opposite end of the scale of the bisexual lesbian scale, and that is women who are 100% straight. These are women who will never do anything with any woman ever unless you get them really, really drunk. And if you get them really, really drunk, maybe an aggressive female friend might get them to make out a little bit and grab her boobs. But that's it, even when she's drunk, she's not gonna do anything sexual, she has no interest, whatsoever in getting sexual at all with any woman. She can still appreciate how certain women look. She can say, oh, that woman's really pretty. Oh, I wish I could look like that woman. But it's more about vicarious, like I wish I looked like her more than, wow, she's hot, I would hook up with her. Basically, you are wasting your time if you're gonna try to get that woman to get sexual with another woman or have bisexual experiences with another woman or have a threesome. You can have a threesome with her, but she's not gonna touch the girl, and she probably won't even want the girl to touch her. She'll just wanna play with you, and then maybe watch you hook up with the woman, or something like that. She's 100% straight. Now, I will be honest with you, most women in the modern era in the Western world do not fall into this 100% straight category. I have estimated, and I think I'm right about this, that at least historically, at least 60% of women in the modern era in the Western world are bisexual to some degree. I think that number has actually gone up due to the further pushing into the left-winging of society, especially with the Gen Z generation and millennial generation. These two generations are much less concerned about these kinds of delineations. And so maybe we're up to 70%. God forbid we might even be at 80%, which again is fine with me. Bisexual women are wonderful and they help us out a lot. And lesbians are some of the most fun people I've ever hung out with. I had an MLTR at one point who was very deep into the lesbian world, and I learned a lot about lesbians, including a lot of what I just described to you, and so it's an interesting world. But there we are, that is the scale. Hopefully now you more fully understand how women operate in terms of a lesbian or bisexual manner. If you want further information on this, in this video right here, I cover the eight different types of female sex drive, something else that is very valuable for you to understand, and I will see you in that video.